What's wrong with that? It's like looking at a ghost.
Gotcha. No, 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 no! Let me go, you big bully! I don't think so. You're the cause of all this, aren't you? You got one chance, and this is it. Tell me everything, or you're really gonna get it. No, I can't! You're not the one I'm looking for! I need to find the one who exits! Now let me go! I warned you, you made me do this! No, stop! You are the one! The one who exits, of course! Of course, I've been so blind! It wasn't a question of where, but of when! It's so obvious now! <coughs> what? What are you talking about? What's going on? Where am I? Who? Go through the back door, just one more time. I'll explain everything to you there. But hurry, the keepers are coming. Hey, e. Enforcement of interdimensional safety laws and regulations. In order to maintain balance between planes of existence, special enforcers, commonly referred to as quantum keepers, are dispatched to nullify any paradoxes that may arise. The sole purpose of these creatures is to track down any paradoxical entity that can present itself within a looping timescale. Once any threat is eliminated, they simply fade from existence and convert to dark matter state until the need calls upon them again, repeating the cycle as necessary. Though frightening in appearance, the Quantum Keeper plays a crucial role in protecting against paradoxes that may otherwise spread to surrounding planes of existence and restore order to the multiverse. Cape D, 5th Dimensional Travel 101 As a user of 5D technology, your capabilities for passage stem beyond our 5th Dimensional status to lower levels of existence. Think back to the idea of an ant traveling along a sheet of paper. Imagine now, if the paper were to be rolled up, so that both ends are now touching. As the end moves from one end of the sheet to the next, a loop is created. Inhabitants of this existence are bound to the sheet as their forms are governed by the laws of this dimension. As a fifth dimensional traveler, however, you are free to cross to any point on any plane at any given moment. Such freedoms must be tempered with caution as failure to act within the safety guidelines could disrupt not only the currently occupied possibility space, but rupture adjacent planes of existence as well, causing great rifts to echo across the infinity sphere. Travel with caution. Cape C. Avoiding Paradoxes Our actions as interdimensional travelers can echo unforeseen consequences across the farthest reaches of infinity. Therefore, we must tread carefully to avoid setting into motion any event that could alter the course of other planes of existence. Remember, the care and maintenance of other worlds and their inhabitants is everyone's responsibility. Refer to the handbook, The Do's and Do Not Do's of Interdimensional Travel that shipped with your device for more information. You don't look so good. Why don't you take it easy? Jillian, can you come over here for just a second? Huh? Oh, what is it, Tom? Do we still have that blanket in Lost and Found? The red one? Um, I think so, yeah. Could you go grab that and bring it over to our friend here? Looks like he could use it. <laughs> sure thing. Why don't you have a seat here at the booth? I'll be right back. <laughs> oh my god, sir! Sir, sir! Can you hear me okay, sir? You had a fall back there. Why don't you rest up? If you need anything, just let us know. Take all the time you need. You? That's right. I'm surprised you recognize me without my head inside a toilet. I'm sorry. I was just so scared and I... No, I'm the one who should be sorry. None of this was your fault. You were simply caught up in something I was doing. And for that, well, I guess we both kind of screwed up. I don't understand. Maybe this will clear things up. Remember this? 
Don't worry, only you can see me. That's... is that me? In a way, I'm not like you, you know. Where I come from, all possibilities exist both all at once and not at all. I don't expect you to understand. Your kind simply can't. But I've come to realize I made a big mistake, and I must spend the rest of what you call forever fixing that mistake. You're... you're going to be doing this... forever? No, silly! <laughs> Just for what you call forever. Forever is not as long as you think it is. But that's not for you to understand. Not now, anyway. Will I ever understand all that's happened here? Perhaps, in time. But right this second, wouldn't you rather leave this place? I... yes. Then go. Out the front door this time. Go before you end up leaving out the back again. Go. You are the one who leaves.